वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इंट्रोडक्शन एनीथिंग दैट इज ऑफ नो यूज इज टर्म्ड एज वेस्ट गार्बेज जनरली यू थ्रो अवे द गार्बेज बट समटाइम्स इट ऑल्सो नीड्स प्रॉपर ट्रीटमेंट इफ ट्रीटेड प्रॉपरली गार्बेज कैन ऑल्सो बी ब्रॉट टू यूज रॉक गार्डन इन चंडीगढ़ इज अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एट The waste or garbage can be classified into two categories that is organic and inorganic. You should know their types before you actually dump them. Kinds of waste. Most people refer to garbage as waste means anything that is of no use to us. Some of the common wastes in our surroundings include dead and decaying remains of animals and plants, unwanted products of metabolism, discarded materials from industries and houses the unused and unwanted materials from offices agricultural waste etc apart from being unhygienic they even give an unpleasant look to our environment wastes can be organic or inorganic in other words they may be biodegradable or non biodegradable waste that can be broken down by microorganisms is said to be biodegradable waste waste that cannot be broken down by microorganisms is said to be non biodegradable waste waste that is made up of only plant and animal products is said to be organic and the one that is not made up of plant and animal products is said to be inorganic biodegradable wastes are broken down by microorganisms they become a part of the nature and disappear into the environment on the other hand non biodegradable wastes are recycled to make new useful products wastes can also be classified on the basis of their toxicity they may be either toxic or non toxic waste is said to be toxic if it contains substances that are harmful to living organisms otherwise it is non toxic waste is generally thrown into an open area called the landfill a landfill is a natural slope or a man-made trough that is filled up with waste garbage collected from municipal dustbins is transported to landfills by trucks landfills are usually away from habitation to ensure that the rotten garbage does not pollute the land and water used by people or spread diseases the other precaution taken is not to dump toxic wastes into landfills landfills are also covered with soil to prevent open rotting of garbage and scattering by scavengers they should be lined with plastic foam or other suitable material to prevent leaching leaching is the seepage of dissolved substances from the decomposing garbage into the soil the dissolved substances are called leachate waste is classified as organic waste from plant and animal products inorganic waste from other than plant and animal products toxic waste from mines industries lead mercury radioactive substances waste is also classified as non toxic paper rag vegetables fruits etc biodegradable paper jute food waste fecal matter etc non biodegradable plastic glass metals synthetic fibers time taken by different types of waste to decompose types of waste time taken vegetable peels waste food etc 1 to 2 weeks paper 10 to 30 days cotton cloth 2 to 5 months wood 10 to 15 years metal 100 to 500 years plastic million years sources of waste the most common sources of waste are domestic and industrial other sources include agricultural biomedical commercial and e-waste domestic waste is the waste that comes from our houses the main source of waste in the house is the kitchen it is industrial waste includes waste from industries it is very harmful agricultural waste includes waste from the agricultural fields this includes the husk leaves vegetable matter manures etc 
They are primarily organic and biodegradable in nature. Biomedical waste includes the waste from hospitals and clinics. These include bandages, blood-stained clothes, expired medicines, used-up syringe, etc. Such waste is highly toxic in nature. Commercial waste includes waste from shopping malls, marketing complexes, etc. It contains biodegradable as well as non-biodegradable substances. E-waste includes the wastes like electronic devices. These include dried up cartridges, damaged used up paper, magnetic strips and floppies, etc. Waste Management Waste management means the proper dealing with the waste. The first type of waste management is to produce less waste. Practicing 3 R's is a good method of waste management. The 3 R's stand for Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. If 3 R's are practiced properly, one can expect an healthy environment and we can make the earth a better place to live in. Reduce The first step is to reduce the waste. When something we use is made lesser or exact in quantity, the waste would be reduced. Reuse if possible, we should try to reuse the items. If we buy mineral water, soft drink from the market, we should try to use those empty bottles for storing other liquid items like water, oil, etc. They can be used as fridge bottles. We should try to use cloth bags instead of poly bags. Recycle The waste materials generated can also be recycled to give some new form. Glass can be recycled easily to make new articles of glass. It can be melted and then remolded into new shapes and forms. Plastic, metals, paper can be easily recycled and their recycling is being carried out on large scale. Sewage water is also being recycled to provide clean water. Recycling Biodegradable Waste Biodegradable waste can be recycled by some methods like composting and vermicomposting. Composting It is one of the oldest method of preparing manure by recycling the waste into nutrients. Composting is a biological process in which biodegradable organic waste is converted into simpler forms by the action of microorganisms, mainly fungi and bacteria. The product so formed is a rich source of carbon and nitrogen. Lookwise, it resembles soil and is a very good quality manure. It is an organic fertilizer which is much better than a chemical one. It is a cheap, clean and safe method which reduces a remarkably good quality of decomposable garbage. Vermicomposting Composting by the use of red worms a special type of earthworms is called vermicomposting. Red worms are used to decompose the waste. The excreta of these worms are added to the nutrient content of the compost. Advantages of composting Composting enriches the soil with 16 vital elements for the plant. Soil cultivation becomes easy. It keeps the soil cool in summer and warm in winter. It keeps control of the growth of weeds in the garden. Incineration Huge chambers are used to burn the waste materials. These chambers are called incinerators. They reduce the quantity of garbage. It is mainly helpful in discarding the non-biodegradable waste. To incinerate means to burn. Wastes can be burned in huge incinerators at a high temperature. Wastes from hospital are disposed of this way. The thermal treatment of waste reduces its volume and the ashes can be disposed of more easily than the huge amount of unburnt waste. However, there are some problems with this method of disposal. Ash and harmful gases produced in this process are toxic which needs special land for disposal. Wide varieties of pollutants produced which are detrimental to human health. Pollution control equipments are needed. Recycling of paper Recycling refers to the process of converting waste materials into new or usable materials. 
Recycling of paper is the process in which waste paper is turned into new paper products. If you look around your study room, you see many objects made of paper such as books, notebooks, craft paper, chart paper, newspaper, cardboard, etc. Raw material of these papers is trees. Thus, recycling waste papers saves trees. Recycling one ton of paper saves 17 manure trees, 3,785 litres of water, 4,100 kilowatt of electricity and 320 litres of soil. Paper suitable for recycling is called scrap paper. This paper often used to produce moulded pulp packaging. The process of removing printing ink from paper to make de-inked pulp is called de-inking. Recycled paper is used for making carry bags, cardboards, notebooks, etc. Recycling of plastics The process of recovering and converting waste plastic into useful plastic products is called recycling of plastics. Since plastic is non-biodegradable, it is used in making toys, bottles, stationery pen, packaging products, etc. The raw materials of plastic are various chemical compounds such as polyethylene, polypropylene, etc. These compounds while burning produces many poisonous gases that harm the humans and animals' respiration system and also degrade the fertility of soil. Plastics of different types are separated out for recycling. It is heated and moulded into many desirable products. Collect the waste papers from your class and tear them into small pieces. Take warm water in a bucket and add a little starch to it. Soak the paper pieces in the water for 5 to 6 hours. Take the pieces out of paper and pound the soaked pieces into a homogeneous paste. Now, spread it on a strainer or a wire mesh to drain off excess water. Add a few drops of glue and mix the pulp. Spread the paste on a dry sheet of paper and let it dry in the sun. The paste can be put into moulds of different shapes to get articles of that shape. Now, your handmade paper is ready. Effects of excessive use of plastics The word plastic comes from the Greek word plastika meaning mould. True to its name, plastic can be moulded into any shape. Nowadays, plastic is used in making a variety of things, but it is non-biodegradable in nature. Disposable plastics contain harmful compounds that affect humans. They also degrade the fertility of soil. Plastics take millions of years to dispose it completely. Burning of plastics produces poisonous gases that harm our respiration system. Plastic bags used for storing food items badly affect the food. Swallowing of plastics by animals may lead to death. Plastic bags may choke the drains and sewage system.